Hey Ranger Nation, so this is my review of Rear Soldier Episode 7, Princess of Planet Kipos. I hope I got that right. So, these are kind of my thoughts of the episode. The episode wasn't that bad. It didn't hold my attention as much as previous ones, but I know that not every single episode is gonna stand out to me, make me go like, oh my god, this is amazing. So this episode, you're introduced to saving two new characters, which you're probably gonna see for like this episode and the next, which you do, and then you'll never probably see them again, maybe until they come back much later on with a power that they need. Um, and then you're introduced to a new bad guy, which I'm gonna get his name wrong. This episode opens up with uh, the dad talking about magnetic fields, so from electricity running through the entire body, from like the mind saying like move your arm up, etc, etc. And you know, Melt, uh, Melt is really liking it, and Asuna is really kind of bored of it. When she gets kind of bored, she kind of looks around, starts cleaning, and then destroys a fossil, and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, and then she's like, oh god, oh god, what have I done? And then kind of restores it using one of the souls, which I generally kind of think is kind of cool. But I kind of really wish there was an easier way of using these souls. In this one, I, I got to admit, I laughed a lot. Um, Terra Amigo and Kale are watching TV. And uh, Terra Amigo kind of just wanders in. And he's learned English from watching TV. Um, so Asuna and Melt are like, oh, these are our names. So she goes, Asuna. And he's like, Asuna. And then Melt goes, oh, this uh, Melt or Asuna goes, Melt. And spells it out. And he just goes, Naruto. And I burst out laughing it was more like it was a very weird i was just like that's actually really funny and then he can't say his name so they say really random things kyo and ui are talking um about kyo like wanting to jump into the water to swim into the ocean to go see the rest of the world because rivers are connected to oceans oceans are connected to the world and she's like you can't jump in you know if you are take these earplugs that you're going to need plot device for much later on and he says like oh for 200 years like, I've not seen the world I've been stuck in the village she's like 200 years he's like actually more like 209 years and this kind of shocks her a lot but then all of a sudden Kyo hears like this really random sound and or song so he uses the audio soul to actually listen in and he can hear a princess or a voice at least singing and kind of calling to him. Bamba and Toya are now actually just kind of sparring with each other. They're training and I actually really like this because I liked Toya's moves but Bamba just countering every single one was really good to me. I generally enjoyed it. At some point we see a scream and Bamba and Toya kind of look over and we see this girl running from the kind of minions and then literally we have Toya and Bamba kind of morphing and it takes a while for them to morph and I was kind of like hmm, when they're morphing and the knights are kind of following them and then they kind of morph into the uh, the rangers and they take down the kind of minions really quickly. If you know what the names are let me know down below in the comments. As soon as they're defeated because they've used different souls the girl pulls a knife on Toya and says like you know are you druidons as well and Toya's like ah oh. then we cut to the intro the minister for this episode is all about sound so he starts like kind of like screaming out or singing or doing something but his effect puts everybody to sleep straight away UI and co have actually arrived at the amusement park and they get kind of affected and everyone just kind of passes out. So this is when Kiron comes along, and oh god, I really hate Kiron. Uh, so he picks everyone up, all the minions pick them all up, and they take him to like a abandoned warehouse, which again, no one really checks down there. As Kiro is kind of like led, he actually springs to life and actually like beats up the minions. And you see a kind of flashback where he's like, oh no, I'm passing out. He's put the earplugs into his uh, ears so the effect didn't get him in time. So as Kiro has like kind of wandered about to make sure that everyone's okay, he actually goes out and he has met this new guy, which I can't, his name is like Woolzol or something like that. We're gonna call him Wuzzle. Um, and he morphs, they start fighting, and this Wuzzle kind of really reminded me of like the Lupin Rangers, where they do their kind of like the Paris thing and you see them on top, like the morph sequence. Um, it kind of reminded me a lot of that. So, as Kyo and Wuzzle are fighting, all of a sudden th these kids just come really out of nowhere. You're like, huh? And they actually protect Wuzzle. They're like saying like, oh, the rear soldiers are, are mean, nasty people. They're stupid. And then the kids go fight Kyo. And Kyo's like, what the hell do I do? I can't fight back. So I'm just going to get my ass handed to me by these kids. And these kids are like really going for it. Like proper kicks, proper punches, which then kind of pushes Kyo back. And Wuzzle's like, oh, kids, like, well done. And then attacks Kyo. And Kyo's like, all right, he demorphs and has to kind of run away. We find out the girl in the uh, forest is actually a princess. She's arrived on Earth 
with her sister because they were uh, running from Wuzzle a lot. And, you know, they start kind of talking to the others, saying that Wuzzle wants to turn around and uh, turn everyone into slaves. Now, because they've been separated, she's got to try and find her sister. And all the rangers are like going, oh, okay, all right then. Wuzzle now controls the kids, tells them they're the puppets, and that's going to be the main issue for this story. And then the rangers say they're going to help the uh, princess find her sister. The rangers now head off to the amusement park and they're greeted by Keon. Um, they all morph, you get the kind of fight music, they introduce themselves as what the rangers are. And then all of a sudden, as they're kind of beating the minions, the kids come out of nowhere again. Oh crap. And then they kind of like rush the rangers and they push them back, they can't do anything. And it's kind of one of those back and forth ones where you're like, whoa, 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 yeah, we can't do anything. So the, the rangers literally just have to stand there as the kids are kind of wailing into them and kind of hitting them. But then this is when the princess comes along and she starts singing a song, which then breaks the control that Wuzzle has on the kids and the kids go to her. Just before the fight began, we see that Bamba has also run off. Forgot to put that in there. Kieran literally, this is one thing, I'm gonna a little bit backtrack. So Kieran now actually has the the kind of minotaur who's walking about. But he then turns around and says, destroy the kids and destroy the rangers. And this is what annoys me because you kind of think that the kids would be more useful because they could easily attack the rangers. The rangers aren't going to do anything. I'd uh, be like, oh, like, take them down. But then when the song is sung by the princess, um, he's like, oh, you brats, you know, you should be doing this. Me, me, me. I just want to punch Curion in the face because he annoys the shit out of me. With the Minotaur being so big, they call in the Dino Knights, they form the three knight version. I, I actually wrote what it is all down, but basically it's the three knight Dino Knight. Say that five times fast and then you get what I'm like. And then they kind of start fighting. We switch to Bamba. We have also Toya, he's kind of followed as well, and they're kind of ambushed by minions. With this going on, they're like, what do we do? They destroy all the minions, and then they find all the people there. They tell UI to kind of go back and take everyone to safety, and they find the princess there. We see lots of different fight scenes happening, different camera angles, with the Minasar versus the Megazord. With this happening, uh, the Minasar jumps up into the air and uses the sun to kind of blind everyone so they can't attack and literally attacks them. When Bamba and Toya join the uh, join up, they actually use their kind of Dino Knights to make the Dino 5 Megazord thing, combine it together, which then use their soul of kind of like polish to make one like area look absolutely stunning and then kind of like blind the Minasar. So when the Minasar starts attacking, they want to kind of finish it off, but it's actually been quite smart because it puts itself in between uh, the Megazord and this um, like Ferris wheel, which has people on. So if the Megazord attacks, boom, it attacks the kind of Ferris wheel and people are in danger. So with this, they don't do anything. And all of a sudden the Minasar just kind of cheeses it out and kind of rushes away. Everyone has kind of powered down. They've gone back down uh, to kind of see the two sisters. And you know, everyone's dead kind of happy. And they're like, oh my God, I'm so glad that you guys are together and Melt hears something. They mention something about the Dino Knights. Now they've never mentioned it to either of the princesses, so how could they know about this? So Melt doesn't kind of trust them, and it kind of ends right there. And then we get the kind of the scene that goes into the next review, which is coming up next. So what are my thoughts on this one? Now, it wasn't one of my favorites. It didn't feel, it felt like it ran on a little bit too long, even in with the time frame. but I generally really liked at the very end where Melt's suspicious. I kind of like that when it comes to TV shows because you don't know what's going on. I'm now starting to help hate Curion because I don't know what their game is because it feels like he wants to be this all powerful person, but then as soon as someone comes up, he's like, no, but then he just generally irritates me because he would rather see his kind of vision go forward compared to the others and I generally just want to go what the hell I want him to be be destroyed next um, and then someone else can be able to create the Minasars that's what I kind of want on this one I'm kind of looking forward to the next episode because I really want to see what that goes on will that be any good or is it going to be kind of like meh like this episode so Ranger Nation I am going to leave it there what are your thoughts on this do you like the episode do you not are you what are your thoughts do you like Curion as well and where do you want this series to go let me know down below in the comments and if you've liked this video like favorite comment consider subscribing subscribing check out all the other videos on the channel if you want to help out the channel on patreon links in the description bell and while you're down there click the cheeky notification bell don't know if i said it but i'll notify you when more videos drop and as always ranger nation thanks for watching and i'll see you in a bit